<laughs> well, I guess you're wondering why I got a piece of sandpaper to the GT500. Funny story is, the family and I took it to Hershey Lodge last weekend and uh, had a bit of a mishap. Nothing major, but it kind of went like this. Uh, welcome back to another video. This one is a lot different than the usual. This time it is still GT500 content, but we are taking on a mini vacation to Hershey Lodge. Yeah! Yeah! I'm so excited because it has a huge pool. It does have a huge pool. And Leah's yeah. got her pinky stuffy. So, we packed everything. We packed everything. But it is only for one night, so. But it still works. Yeah. <laughs> if we were packing all the essentials of like my actual like hair, makeup, clothing, because I can even pack, I packed pajamas and that's it. Yeah. So, but both kids fit in the bag. We got luggage in the trunk, and uh, we have air conditioning. So there you go. We're good to go. And we're and, excited. And we're excited. So hopefully um, the sound isn't too messed up. I got the air conditioner vents. Already then. She is talkative today. She is talkative. I got the air conditioner vent closed behind the microphone and the wind muff on it, so hopefully that should be just fine. But if it isn't, excuse the wind noise. It is 100 degrees outside today with a heat index of 103, and it's. Yeah. You tell them, Luna. <laughs> Got checked in. Of course, we gotta wear a mask when we're through the hotel. But we're going down to the indoor water park to go have some fun. So the indoor park was short lived. It was so cold in there. I mean, the water was ice cubes. So we came outside where Luna is bathing in ice cream. But hey, it's vacation, right? Kids are eating ice cream. And well, we had about right there. The other GT500. Suburban just block it. Mm. That is so good. <laughs> is that what you got me yesterday? No. Alright, so here it is the next morning after our pool adventure. And I came out to the car. We're loading back up. We're actually leaving today. And I boo booed. So I noticed parking. I got a little close to the curb earlier. Let me get out of the shadow. And uh, got a little bit of a scuff mark all over the front sweater. Not good. Not good at all. It's minor. I should be able to take like a really fine sandcloth or sandpaper and just trying to smooth the burrs out 
I'm not sure how that's gonna work yet. I haven't attempted to fix a splitter before, so if anybody's got any suggestions, I am completely open to them, but yeah. So now you see why I'm down here with a piece of sandpaper and taking off a few burrs on the splitter. It's very fine, it's nothing crazy, and I'm just trying to get some of the big burrs off. See down here, just trying to get a little bit of the, the edge off so it doesn't look that horrible. I don't want to dig into the splitter, but I need to at least take those little edges off, you know, so it doesn't look as horrible. So lesson learned, I misjudged the front end of the car. Won't do that again. And uh, just trying to clean it up a little bit, make it look a little nicer. And, you know, if I got to repaint it or replace it later down the road, maybe I'll get a carbon fiber one. Ooh, that's an idea. Carbon fiber splitter. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're not going to do that. We're going to fix the splitter up. Just take the little burrs off so it looks a little nicer and you don't have all these little edges everywhere. But, you know, it was still a fun weekend. I enjoyed taking the car so the whole family can enjoy it. And uh, that's what it's all about. Not just sitting in the garage or taking it to car shoes and make it look pretty. But that kind of stuff happens when you drive it all the time and you take the family on trips. But I, I would rather do that than have it sit and just stare at it. So just a little update video of what's going on with the GT500 and the adventures of daily driving it. So drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Catch you in the next upload.